Welcome to the quick start video tutorial for a Para Premium Series PH60 Tester Kit. Preparation before use. Pull out the battery insulation slip and take off the probe cap. Rinse off the probe in pure water, then shake off excess water. If the tester hasn't been used for a long time, over one month, please soak the probe in the 3M KCL soaking solution for 15 minutes, then calibrate it before test. pH calibration. Pour pH buffer solutions into the corresponding calibration vials to about half volume. Rinse off the probe in pure water, shake off excess water. Short press power button to turn on the tester. Dip the probe in the pH 7.00 buffer. Make a quick stir, then let it stand. Long press Cal button to enter calibration mode, the screen will turn green. Wait for the reading to stabilize, then short press Cal button to finish the first point calibration. After calibration is completed, the tester will return to measurement mode. Icon M will appear at the bottom left indicating a successful first point calibration. Do not turn off the tester before you start calibrating pH 4 or pH 10. Rinse off the probe in pure water, shake off excess water. To calibrate the second point, dip the probe in the pH 4.00 buffer, make a quick stir, then let it stand. Long press Cal button to enter calibration mode, the screen will turn green. Wait for the reading to fully stabilize, then short press Cal button to finish the second point calibration. Icon L will appear at the bottom left, indicating a successful two point calibration. Do not turn off the tester before you calibrate the third point. Rinse off the probe in pure water. Shake off excess water. To start the third point calibration, dip the probe in the pH 10.01 buffer, make a quick stir in the solution, then let it stand. Long press Cal button to enter calibration mode, the screen will turn green. Wait for the reading to fully stabilize, then short press Cal button to finish the third point calibration. Icon H will appear at the bottom left, indicating a successful three-point calibration. Rinse off the probe in pure water, shake off excess water. Notes for pH calibration. The first point calibration must be pH 7. Perform the second and third point calibration immediately after finishing pH 7 calibration. Do not turn off the meter before you calibrate pH 4 or pH 10. Otherwise, you will need to restart the calibration process with pH 7 first. pH measurement Short press power button to turn on the tester. Rinse the probe in pure water, shake off excess water. Insert the probe in your sample solution, make a quick stir and hold still. Take the reading as the measurement when it is fully stabilized. 
or if you turn on the auto hold function, the reading will be automatically locked when it's stable for more than 10 seconds. Hold icon will stay on. Short press cal button to cancel the auto hold and keep measuring. Short press mode button to switch to MV mode, which is for ORP testing or technical analysis. Probe cleaning The tester is only as accurate as the probe is clean. Always thoroughly rinse off the probe before and after each measurement with pure water. For tough contaminants, detach the sensor shield. Soak the probe in a paraprobe cleaning solution or detergent water for 30 minutes. Then use a soft brush to remove the contaminants. Afterwards, soak the probe in 3M KCL soaking solution for 1 to 2 hours. Rinse it off, put back the sensor shield. Then recalibrate the tester before using again. Probe storage. For regular storage, just make sure there are a few water droplets inside the probe cap. Then close on the probe cap tightly, just so to maintain the humidity inside so the probe will not be dried out. For long-term storage, store the probe in the 3M KCL soaking solution. Notes for probe storage. Never store the probe in pure water, like tap, RO, distilled, or deionized water as they could damage the pH sensor. If this happens, immediately soak the pH probe in the 3M KCL soaking solution overnight to restore. Then recalibrate it before using. Pure water is only for rinsing off the probe, not for storage.